Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to Arms with PvP Guide series. Um, this week we'll be taking a look at key bindings and movements. Now, I was supposed to do these two in the um, separate series, but I thought about, you know, how how can you, um, uh, you know, do all of the ability stuff if you can't move and, you know, and I just thought that it will be better if I put movements together with key bindings. And it will also make a longer video, so yeah, it's gonna be more enjoyable to watch. Maybe not for those people who like shorter videos, but in my opinion, I really like to watch longer videos. So let's first look at movements, okay? Um, now when you're PvPing, um, your enemies will want to get behind you for most of the times. Like you know, rogues will open up behind you. So there's a um, very important thing you want to use is called strafing. So what that does is that you know when you hold down your right mouse button and click A. Or D, you will move on the side like this, and if you click A, then you'll go on the side this way, while holding down your right mouse button. All right, so a lot of people don't do this, but I do have strafing key button, uh, key button as A and D instead of turn left and turn right, because a lot of times when I like don't click on the right side of my mouse, I will just like turn like this slowly. And that does get in the way sometimes with PPing. So when you when you don't hold on the mouse button, you can still strafe like this. And another thing is that you do want to unbind your uh, move back button. Well, I have a binder right now, but you know if you if you back pedal sometimes, you can unbind it so you don't back pedal anymore. Because now the reason why you don't want to back pedal is that you go really slowly, and you know it also makes you look like a noob. When people will like mainly just turn like this really fast, you know, this is um, you know, t turning like this is way faster, uh, way slower than turning like this. You see this? I can like turn really fast. And if you do use your um, turn left and turn right with the move back button, that's way slower than the average people, and they will have a advantage over you. All right, so let's go on with our key bindings now. Um, so my key bindings, they're not that complicated. I see a lot of people like, you know, saying if you bind your core abilities on one, two, three, four, five, six, you are a noob. That's not true. It's called just making your life easier. Now, um, I see a lot of people binding their, you know, Mortal Striker like T or some stuff. Like, you don't want to do that. You, 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 I mean, unless you're used to it, then sure, go ahead. But, you know, like if you're just starting out, just bind your um, core, abilities, uh, core abilities like this. You know, I have my Mortal Strike as 1, Rand is 2, uh, Colossus Smash is 3, Whirlwind or Slam. I often sw um, sort these around, but yeah, usually it's Slam, uh, 4, Execute is 5, my stuns are always 6, and my mobility movements are always R and V. So, how do you keybind? Now, um, before you go keybindings, you want to go to Interface, um, Action Bars, and check all these, the, um, the right bar, the right bar uh, 2, these toggle these bars so you can put more abilities on your screen. Now you don't really need it sometimes and as you can see over here I have a lot of the same abilities. Now the reason why I do this is so I can be more alert about um, on the abilities that I need to know when the cooldowns are off. So for my um, Dive of the Sword. I can see 3 minutes over here, all 3 of them, and my Battle Cry, Berserker Rage, Intimidating Shout, and all that other stuff. So once you've activated your right bars, you're going to head over to Key Bindings, and you go to Action Bars. So these ones, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 1, 2, um, the equal sign, which is also 12. Um, these are the first row over here. I usually just uh, leave it as um, default. Now, some people can't reach that far, and I can't reach that far myself. So I have a mouse. Um, I'm currently using the Ra uh, the uh, Corsair Scimitar, but I used to use the Razer Naga. Now, these mouses really make your life easier when you play MMORPGs like World of Warcraft because all these abilities, and you can't really reach your keyboard, and you can focus your left hand more on moving 
than using than, than casting abilities. Alright, so once you're done with these, you want to scroll down. Um, I mean, go to multi action bar, um, the second one below action bar, and over here um, is all the other action bars. So you go, you got the top row over here and the two rows on the side. So this one, the bottom left action bar. Um, that's these two. Um, I'm, I mean this one over here, and the bottom right one is on this side. And the right action bar one is the one on the inside, and the right action bar two is the one on the left side. All right. So after you are done with your key bindings, you might want to you know ask yourself why would I want to key bind when I can just click on my abilities. Now, you can just click on your abilities in PVE, but even even for PvE, you still want to like use key bindings so you can move faster. Now, clicking really affects your movements because your mouse is like a key factor for moving. So you can turn like this with your mouse. But if you're clicking all the time, you can't turn. So and you also like you also cast your um, abilities slower. So you know when I want to use more strike, and then I want to use die with the sword. So that's over here or here. You know you want to move your mouse between here. But if you keybind it, you can just click one button and boom. Now being a clicker just mainly affects your movement speed because in PvP, um, people will always get behind you. You know they will like go around you, and if you stand still and click on your abilities, you can't really hit them. So for for example over here, you know I can't really hit him apart from my whirlwind, but that's AOE ability. You know what I mean? So you know I can't really hit him because the target needs to be in front of you. Now. Using your keyboard to turn, um, it's very bad in PvP because it's extremely slow. So, for example, the, the dummies behind you, yeah, you can't hit them. And you, if you use keyboard turn, that that actually takes a long time. And 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 then you click your abilities again, and then they'll just be be behind you again. And but if you don't use keyboard turning, you can just turn instantly, and you can also strafe around your enemies. Alright guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, I'll see you guys next week when I do another episode for my Arms Warrior PvP Guide series. PEACE!